welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me fix you a little bit. There you go. Uh, welcome to my monthly Poshmark Mercari haul. This entire big ass box is full of all the things that I purchased off of, mostly Mercari, more than anything. Um, this month, in the month of November, uh, I have relationships with several uh, sellers on Mercari in particular that treat me very, very good because I buy from them consistently and uh, I get very, very good deals, guys. So I just want to show you like what I got, you know, um, and some stuff that I repurchased because I ended up selling it for whatever reason and I wanted it back. So we're just going to start right here. And I think I'm going to do the ones that I got from one seller altogether. This is the Jaclyn Hill palette. I had the original one with the cardboard um, packaging. Um, I got this for $8 with free shipping because they took out two of the shades. Um, and the shades that I really liked was this corner right here and some of the oranges up here. So I'm really happy that I got this one. From another seller, I got the MAC Pretty Little Things. I can't remember what the hell it's called. Um, there was one in dark, deep, or deep and light, and I got both of them. And this is the one in light, so I'm really glad I have that. From another seller, I got the Too Faced I Want Candy. All of these have been sanitized. I want to mention that. The I Want Candy. I had this, and I never even used it, and I sold it. Really regret that, so bought it back, got it at a good price. I wanted to try the IBY Beauty, and this is the only one that I wanted to try. To buy it on the website uh, with shipping was more than what this was, and this was $8 with free shipping, and that's what it looks like. Okay, let's see. This came from another seller. The Celestial Thunder. I do have the Celestial Storm or whatever. Um, Eight dollars, free shipping. Super excited about that. Now, then I got. Let's see. Oh gosh, I'm trying to remember. Um, this one I got from another seller. This is the pretty, um, pretty fun and fearless number two, Chloe Morello. I had purchased this at full price, never used it, got rid of it. I was able to get it for ten bucks. Um, and then what else? These are the ones that were like by from single sellers. I gave this away to my niece when she came, went through my makeup and she wanted it. And so I repurchased it um, almost practically brand new and I got it for 10 bucks, I think it was. Then one seller, uh, I was able to purchase some things that I just wanted to try. Now, this I want, okay, these are the two that I wanted, but she get, threw this one in because I had this. This is a dupe for the subculture. And I wanted to see if, and it's really inexpensive. It's like $5. But she, she sold it to me for like $3 or whatever. But um, she bundled them all, all together. I wanted to see if the shimmers were the same as the ones in when I had this palette. Because mine um, had hard pan like immediately. And, you know, I, I did some research on how to like get rid of hard pan and uh, I dug them up and repressed them and stuff. I just want to be able to use the shimmers when they, my, uh, the one from my um, subculture, uh, subculture goes, um, gets used up. But she sold me these two cargo palettes. Uh, this is the getaway palette. I'm not a fan of cargo, but I really like this color scheme. Really, really, really gorgeous. And then this one was the Emerald City, I think. And I love these greens and these bronzes. Like I said, not a huge cargo fan. I've only tried them once, so I want to try them again. Now, this is the Anastasia Catwalk palette. I have all of the Anastasia palettes from this forward, except they were Modern Renaissance. I have the Amrezi, I have the Maimia, I have all of those. So this is the Catwalk palette. That was from a single, single seller. Then this was uh, the Pure Out of the Blue. I purchased the blush and I really wanted this, but um, this was actually missing a shade and I did some rearranging in my Visionary and Pure Creator palette and I just threw it in there, threw another shade in there. It works really well. I love 
like this type of, um, has a little vanity light up. I love this formula of um, Pure, so happy to have that. Okay, now I think we're getting to the one seller that I deal with the most. Um, okay, let me see. Let's see. This is her, this is her, this is her. This is her. This is my extra. Um, this was from another seller. I don't remember who this is from. This is from her. This is from her. And I'm going to list the name of the seller that I'm the, that I get the most stuff from. Her name is Classy and Sassy. She is amazing. Um, I'm going to list her link in the description box. Um, she's dealing with a lot right now. And I love to be as supportive as I can. Okay, let me see if I can get all this in here. Okay, this one is not from her. This is from Pixie. This is um, it's duty time. I gave this one away to my niece, and so I'm glad I got it back. Okay, here's a couple more. All right, let me see if I can. Really... Now this one, I got off of Poshmark. This is the Benai Press Color Palette, the Glam something or another. I really wanted it, and she was giving it away for like 20 bucks. So I'm glad I got that. I love Benai shadows; they're amazing. Okay, and one of them was kind of broken, so she, and she told me that too. Um, and this, okay, these two came from one seller, okay. And this came from a separate seller. This is the Kat Von D Metal Crush um, 10th Anniversary Highlighter. And this seller, I'm trying to think, somebody, I can't remember who. Uh, no, 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 no. I can't remember. I can't remember. Let me not lie. Just let me go with what I remember. Okay. These two came from one seller, right here. This is the Pure uh, My Little Pony Movie palette. And this I wanted so fucking bad. And man, people, were, they were just giving it away. This is the Come As You Are. Now, if you're a child of the 80s or 90s, you know what this song is from, from Nirvana and Kurt Cobain. I remember when Kurt Cobain committed suicide and people outside of his house, and it was just crazy excited man I was so stoked and it's in she hadn't even swatched it so super happy about that okay now the rest of them came from one seller okay this is part of the gingerbread holiday whatever from Too Faced this is the affinity 2 palette see this is the hocus pocus palette which has not even been touched the majority of her stuff had never been touched this is the sigma viper palette this is the gourmand girls times bat girl etka I'm not really familiar with this, but it's an indie brand and I love to support my indie people. So that's that. She sent free this palette, which I already have. So I'll give this away. And then I wanted this one, but she was selling them as a bundle. So I bought them as a bundle just because why not? This is the Alamar volume two. And this is the Alamar. Is this the one I've already used? Yeah, volume one. So the extra one I have, I'll give away to my niece or and her friends. Now, um, I ended up selling this like an idiot and I have repurchased it from this seller, Classy and Sassy. I also purchased this Glamingo face palette from Violet Boss. I also, I really wanted this. This is the uh, Lunatic Lab Cosmetics Contour Palette. I'm super happy about that. I got um, the Betty Boop Ipsy collab. Then I got the Face Palette. And I did, in fact, get the Eyeshadow Palette along with the um, bag. She gave me the whole set. Okay, now, these are others that I really wanted. Disney and Maleficent. 
uh, the eyeshadow palette. And these are not things I would know I'm gonna probably use. This is just something I really want. Like, yes, yes, Maleficent. Are you, are you serious? Then I have Aladdin and the Arabian Nights. Let me see. Yeah, this is really beautiful. Hadn't been touched. Super happy about that. Then I do not know how to pronounce this. I think it's Toki Doki. 24 karats gate deck palette. A lot of indie brands. She has a lot of indie brands. This is from, oh, I'm going to do a review on this. So look for this. This is Queen KM Cosmetics. This is a very interesting store, color story. Which is very, very interesting. I'm, I'm intrigued by this color story. And I'm definitely, I'm going to pull that out right now and put it to the side. This is Canopy Cosmetics Hello Gorgeous palette. Another indie brand. Up my alley, those pinks and purples and browns. And really great. She has, like I said, a ton of indie stuff. She has mainstream stuff too, but a ton of indie stuff. Then this is also from Lunatic Lab Cosmetics. This is the, the one, the, I don't like this one the way it looks, but I love the color story. And this is the outside of it. What is this one called? Take My Heart Collection. Oh, God. I did buy the Sweet Talk palette from her. I bought the Pretty Poison uh, Bad Habit palette, which is the only Bad Habit palette that they made that was actually their own. It wasn't a copy. I bought the Bomb Burger from her. And I think this is Bombshell Cosmetica. And I have some of their stuff already. I bought, I think that's it. I think we're it. I think, what's this? What's that? Okay, this is the last one. Handbook for the Recently Deceased. This is the Beetlejuice palette. I really, you have no idea how much, I don't even, I've never even seen Beetlejuice, but I love the aesthetics and I love the color story. And I really wanted this and she made it happen for me. A lot of the stuff she bundled for me, so. This was all purchased between November 1st and today, which is November 29th. I have a problem. So here's the thing, guys. I, um, I have a little bit of an obsession. I sell a lot of stuff. If you go to my Mercari and Poshmark, there's all kinds of shit for sale that I end up repurchasing. So in the next video, you're going to see me talk about um, I did some talking about some uh, mainstream no buy, but I, I went a little stricter and I went through my stuff today and made some stricter guidelines. And so you'll see that in the next video. Okay. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. You could be anywhere in the world, but you choose to be hanging out with me. And that makes me feel fucking special. I appreciate it. Take care and God bless. And remember, it gets real. It gets different. It gets real fucking different. Hang on for the ride, guys. Thanks. <laughs>